Hello, hi students. Welcome to the topic Organizer. Before going to the topic, please subscribe my channel. Press the bell icon for notifications. Like, share among your friends and comment. The embryonic tissue which exerts such an influence is called an inductor and the chemical substance secreted by an inductor is known as evocators. The tissue on which evocator works and the tissue responses is known as responsive tissue. The action of the inductor through evocator is known as induction action or organizer action. This process of induction influences greatly the protein synthesis mechanism of responsive tissues as a result of which definite structure forming cells become very active. What is a primary organizer? The dorsal lip is composed of codom isoderm as it primarily acts as inducer so named the dorsal lip or codom isoderm as primary organizer. Secondary, tertiary and quaternary organizers. As the gas relation proceeds, due to primary organizers injection, primary organs begin to form and the early stages of organ development are known as organ rudiments. These organ rudiments themselves may act as organizer and then they are known as secondary organizer. Tissues formed by the action of secondary organizer may in turn induce further development. Then they are known as tertiary organizer. These successive stages of organizer activities start from the primary organizer. Classification of induction. Lotrop in 1974 classified induction into two principal classes. One is endogenous induction and the other is exogenous induction. Endogenous induction means shapes and sizes of some of the embryonic cells changes after secreting inducting substances and this induction bring about differentiation of cells. Example, small cells of the dorsal lip carrying yolk granule act as endogenous induction. Exogenous induction means when either by external influence or by contact, any cell or tissue induces nearby tissue to differentiate. Exogenous induction may again be of two types. One is homotypic and the other is heterotypic. Homotypic means when the contact induction induces to form same type of cell, heterotypic when the contact induction induces different types of cell differentiation. Embryonic induction in vertebrates. Spayman observing the induction effect of dorsal lip named it as primary organizer, but Ebert and Sussex in 1974 said the formation of secondary embryo is due to cell differentiation of both the donor as well as of the host. They preferred to call the primary organizer of Spayman as embryonic inductor. As the primary organizer induces the epidermis for the formation of neural tube, so nowadays the primary organizer has been renamed as primary inductor or neural inductor. Types of inductors On the basis of various experimental evidences, Lehman in 1945 said that the specific regionality of induction effects present in the dorsal lip of the blastopore. He further said that the roof of the archenderon definitely possesses specific induction activities for the differentiation of head and trunk regions. On the basis of the regional specificity, he classified the inductors into three groups. They are archenocephalic inductor. Due to the induction effect of this inductor, partial head, forebrain, eye, nasal cavities are formed. Next is deuterencephalic inductor. By its induction effect, posterior portion of the head, ear cavities, etc. are formed. As arachnocephalic and deuterencephalic inductors induce the formation of different parts in the head region, so they together known as cephalic or head inductors. Third one is spinocaudal inductor. Their inductive influence leads to the formation of spinal cord and different structure of the tail region. Dear students, to know more about organizer and the development of eye, you can visit the video Organogenesis through the given link. Dear friends, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and please subscribe my channel.